All right, guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna share with you guys a bunch of stuff that I picked up at Target. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this real short and sweet. I did some shopping this weekend, um, so I figured I'd show you what I got. They had some really cute stuff for spring, so I picked up some stuff, mostly for Riley. Um, I was very disappointed in the boys section, I must say. Like, sometimes I try to give stores the benefit of the doubt. Like, you know, boy clothes isn't that bad. It's not that awful. Like, you can find some cute stuff for boys. Not, not yesterday, not at Target. It was like awful. I really looked and I found like two things only for Jackson. But girl stuff, they had plenty of. So I got Riley some stuff for spring. I also got my baby niece some stuff and that stuff is adorable. And then I also bought myself, I got myself like some bathing suits. I got myself some sandals. So it's just like a little bit of a casual video. I wanted to make sure you guys had some content because we're leaving to Miami. Uh, in the middle of this week. I think the day that you guys are watching this video maybe is when we're leaving to Miami. So point is, sorry, I have like all this stuff behind me on the chair. Um, but point is I wanted to have, you know, something that you guys could watch. So you guys didn't like, you know, go to YouTube and see no videos. So here we are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the stuff that I got for myself first. Um, and I will have everything linked down below in the description box. As always, those are affiliate links. Um, if they have like a little star next to it, they're affiliate links, which means that I get a small commission. So if you're gonna buy it anyway, uh, use my link and I'm still Super grateful appreciative of that so anyway let's start with the sandals that I got I got these sandals I had seen them all over Instagram and I have a different version of them I had the ones that they put out last year that aren't with like the braiding they're just like the single little strap which I also loved so I naturally like love these too. grab them perfect spring summer sandal they have them in a bunch of different colors too um, they have one that's even kind of looks like straw almost um, but what I like about these is that they have the chunky heel and I'm sure you guys can see like the detail of the shoe I actually wore that other version that I've had um, since last season I wore them to church today they are just so comfy so if you need a pair of spring sandals these are very similar to um, some very expensive ones that you see that people pay a fortune for. These are, I think, were like $34.99. So grab these. I also got this that I'm hoping doesn't have like a bunch of deodorant on it. Oh, it does. It does have a bunch of deodorant on it. But it's like the little bralette. Maybe you guys have seen these on Instagram, but it's got like a little cutout here. I got it in a size medium. This is from their Colsey brand, and it's seven bucks. And it is just like the comfiest ribbed little bralette very stretchy so i thought that this is like something that i can lounge in I'll, i can even like sleep in this it's so comfy and they had it in a bunch of other colors too so i got that for myself this was a little cami that i liked that they also had in a bunch of other colors i think this one was 18 dollars but isn't just like a cute like everyday cami and it's like this like silky material so that i can wear with like jeans or even like denim shorts i can pair it with like a bunch of gold jewelry and it's like a really pretty top and then let me tell you it's been forever since i bought myself a bathing suit i think the last bathing suits that i've bought have been from amazon um which if they still have those i'll also link those if i can remember because they're great bathing suits but when i went to target i was looking for some new ones so i got this one and i tried these on on instagram yesterday and you guys seem to really like this one i think it's just so cute so it's this beautiful like lilac color and then the straps over here completely untie and then you can tie them and adjust them you can like you know give the tatas some more support if necessary <laughs> over here it's very necessary so i really liked it um it also it says that it's got like medium coverage on the booty which i found to be true i'm not going to model this and show you guys my butt cheeks but um they're not like completely out it's not any kind of like thong bathing suit it's a very nice appropriate bathing suit but still looks very very cute so i got that one and a good price too the bathing suits were like 40 bucks each of these that i got so i got that one and then i also picked up this one which i love now on the hanger it didn't come with the straps the straps are totally optional um but i actually like how the bathing suit looks with the straps on and then the straps of course are like adjustable so you can adjust the length you can also like crisscross them in the back if you want to put the straps you know make them so that they can crisscross but what i really liked about this you guys is that this bathing suit even though it's like a strapless like i don't know how to describe it but it's very it's very like smoothing smoothing on the boob so that you don't have like you know nipple action you know like popping out and all of that so this like smooths everything out i find that it's really supportive it also has like a little piece of rubber here so that it's not like sliding down now of course i haven't worn this out yet but just from trying it on i feel like it's just a very good like bathing suit for running around with kids again the back isn't a thong by any means it's got like some really pretty ruching here too so yeah i really like those 
those two and they look super cute with just shorts on top I do want to look for a pair of like those beach pants that a lot of people use like as cover up So that way you can kind of wear this almost like as a bodysuit on top and then just have something that's covering like the other half of your body So if you need some bathing suits, those are two from Target that I picked up that I recommend and then I got this t-shirt just because it looked just like an everyday basic tee to throw on with like jean shorts and stuff. And it was 10 bucks, so I got this. And then the last thing that I grabbed for me is something that I'm very excited about. I got this giant makeup bag. They have it in two other sizes. They have it in like a square and then they have it in like a small, like um, more like rectangular size, almost like for your makeup brushes. But I wanted the giant bag because like when I travel, when I'm getting all my stuff ready to go to my mom's house and stuff, this is gonna be perfect for me to fit like everything I need in here. Yesterday, just to get an idea of like how big it actually was, like I put a full size dry shampoo in here. I even fit my, um, my hair straightener. So I can put my hair straightener in here. And then like you see, there's different compartments. Like there's the two compartments on the side and then even a zipper. So it's great because I can put like all my makeup in here, stuff that I don't want to get lost. I can put any of my makeup brushes in here, zip it up. And then on the side, I still have plenty of space to put stuff. So this is super pretty. I think it was 20 bucks, but I love the print. So very happy with that. So that was my stuff. And then I'm gonna show you what I got for Baby Everly. Again, like I'm so thrilled. <laughs> So thrilled that I have a little niece that I can shop for like now that Riley's outgrown the like little girl clothes like she's almost in like the big girl section at Target which makes me so sad um so every time that I pass by like the baby girl section I'm like oh my god this is so cute but Riley doesn't fit in it so now I'm like oh perfect I can buy this for Everly so um I bought some stuff to give her I'm not sure if I'm gonna give it all to her when I see her probably because I, I have problems but I wanted to try to save some of it maybe for her Easter basket when I go to make her an Easter basket. But I will show you everything that I picked up because it was so cute. So I got her this two-piece set. So, well, it's actually a three-piece set because this little dress comes with bloomers, the pink bloomers underneath. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is what the other little outfit is. It's like a little romper um, so she can be a tiny little strawberry. So cute. I got her this in six months even though she just turned two months, but she can kind of like fit into that in the spring and summertime. This I got her for like right now, which is like the perfect little spring outfit. It's got the bunnies on it. Can you see that? Is it like focusing? The tiniest <laughs> little leggings with the bunnies on them. So this I got for her and then I got her two, well, it's really like four pajamas, but two sets of pajamas. So this was the first set. It's like this beautiful yellow with little hearts on them. I think, yeah, it's like four little hearts on them. And then look at the print on this, PJ like this is adorable I have never seen something so cute with the ladybugs with the flowers like I really wish that they had something like this for Riley but they don't so at least Everly gets a really cute PJ of course they're both zip up footy PJs because I don't hate my sister and I'm not gonna give her like little you know button up PJs this is all that Everly's been living in is like the zip up PJs so I got her a couple more so I got her those in six months so I might have to wait and give her those like for Easter but I got her these in three months which are also just so cute so this print another like floral print with the prettiest like pastel colors so that's this one and then over here this one's just like flamingos and it's just adorable and then I also found that they had the matching headband so how cute is that for like a little gift for a baby girl so a little Everly's getting all this cute clothes and the PJs I'm gonna tell you like I lucked out I didn't even know that they were having a sale but normally those sets even like regular price the two sleepers are usually 10 bucks so that's like five bucks a PJ which is a great price but they had them on sale for $8. So I got each of those PJs for four bucks. So that was definitely a score. I was very happy about that. And then I'll show you guys what I got for Riley. Some of this stuff I shared on Instagram, by the way. I'm sure you know if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I saw this already on Instagram. But there were some things that I didn't show. So for example, I got Riley some white sandals. So I wanted to get her like a fresh new pair of white sandals because she has like one other pair, but then they always like get scuffed and dirty. If you have any tips on cleaning toddler shoes, because like I got Jackson a pair of white sneakers the other day and they're already like all messed up. So if you have any tips on how to clean shoes, let me know. But I got her these that I thought just would go with everything. And then I got her a couple of just like basic tops that I thought were at a decent price and that go with everything. So this one is white with the little eyelet detail, little flutter sleeves. 
So I got her this one, I think also like in a 5T. Some of the stuff I got her in a 4T, some of it I got it in a 5T. So that it would be like a little bit oversized and bigger. I was going through her closet yesterday and like I'm trying to um, organize her room, by the way, which is another video you guys are probably going to see. I'm trying to go through her closet, get rid of stuff that doesn't fit her. I had like leggings in her drawers that were like 3T. They just don't fit her anymore. Like they don't even go all the way up. Like Riley has a lot of clothes um, in her closet and in her drawers, but like a lot of it is just super old and doesn't fit her. And I think that's one thing that people without kids don't understand is like how quickly your kids outgrow their clothes. And like the stuff from last season that was like spring and summer like really doesn't fit her anymore. So I've got like a bunch of sweaters and stuff in there, but now it's getting warm. So she needs warm clothes and t-shirts and stuff like that and shorts that everything she has is like a 3T doesn't fit her anymore. So anyway, moving on, I got her this T that I thought was really cute. This one I think I actually did get in the big girl section because it's like a six, six sec, but it's all the different flowers for like the birth month flowers. And I just thought it was like a cute, neutral, but still kind of fun T that she can wear with any of like the little shorts when she's outside, when we go on play dates, now that we're doing those more. She has some like t-shirts that she can throw on. Same with this one. This one also was from the girl section that I got in like a six, six X. It says, I think, keep growing or something like that. And I liked the print on that one. This was another one of the tees. This one, though, was from the toddler section. This one I got her in a 4T. I just thought it was fun. Like, just a basic tee with the rainbows. But then it has, like, a cute little, um, like, detail on the sleeve. And then this one, I think, was the same. Just, like, a different print. This one's just yellow with little flowers on it. And it's ribbed like the other ones. But I tried these on her and they just look so cute. Um, I tried them on with these shorts that I got for her. These are, like, everyday basic um, slide on slip on shorts I think is what they call them they don't have like any buttons so it makes it really easy but the tie up front is an actual like functional drawstring so you can get them to be you know tighter if you have a little one that's like super skinny and you need to tighten up the pants like that's something that I always check now like is the tie functional or is it just for decoration because believe it or not there's still some clothes that that tie is just for decoration and my kids being as tiny as they are they need it to be able to like cinch in their waist so yeah, I got these shorts. I'm sure that they have them in a bunch of different washes, but I wanted like a dark wash for her. And if you've gone to Target and you've seen, they have like um, a Grayson mini line. I think Grayson Threads is like the line that they have for women, but they have a toddler line called Grayson Minis and it's so cute. They have a bunch of really cute stuff for toddler girls. So I got her this set, which is these shorts in like this really pretty, it's like a cream and like a, I don't know, like a lilac -y color. And then this is the top that goes with it. You can buy the shorts on their own, you can buy the top on its own, but I got her like the full set. So it would be like one of those easy like outfits that I can just throw on. I don't have to worry about what matches or whatnot. It's like a cute set. So I got her that one. And then this is also from Grayson Minis, just like one of those little swing dresses that she can wear with sneakers or with sandals. She can wear it to church, all of that. And then this dress I saw, and for the price, I was like, this is so pretty. She can even wear this like as her Easter dress. Like, tell me that's not adorable. It's just the most darling dress. It's got all of the flowers, the flutter sleeves. It's got like the little keyhole in the back with the button and all that. But it's got all the ruffles and just the print is so pretty. She can wear this with like the white sandals that I got her and boom, she's got an Easter dress. It was $18. So I'm um, very happy with that. And then I did get her two bathing suits. So I got her this one. It's just so pretty. And I don't usually get bathing suits that aren't long sleeve. But she does go to swim class. And when she goes to swim class, it's indoors. So I don't have to worry about her like getting burned or anything like that. So I thought she could use this one for swim. I'll probably still take it with us when we go to Miami because my mom, I'm so excited. My mom just got a heater in her pool. So we can use the pool now, God willing, um, when we get down there and it won't be freezing because normally without a heater in March, it's still freezing. So I'm excited to use the pool and all of that. And now she's got this little bathing suit and she's gonna look so cute in that. And this one she'll probably wear more because it's long sleeve and more of like the stuff that I usually like to put on her so she doesn't get burned but it's also just really, really pretty. And at first I was like, I don't know, like it's not pink, like neither one of these were pink, which normally that's like what I gravitate towards, but she looks so pretty in this color and like the palm leaves and all of that. And it's got the zipper in the back to make it easier to put on. Really pretty bathing suit. And I think, how much was this one here? So it's it was $15, you guys, and it's UPF 50 plus. So a great price for a really pretty bathing suit. 
So that's what I got for Riley. And then for Jackson, I got him one t-shirt that I already put on him. So it's like in the wash already. That was like a little Mickey Mouse t-shirt. I'll try to put a picture of it here. Um, I Again, I really struggled to find anything for him. But I want some just everyday t-shirts that he can wear when he's playing outside, when he's going to the park, when he's going to play dates. And everything is so freaking ugly. <laughs> like I can't find anything that I like. Um, I had more success at H&M than I did at Target for him. And then I even went to Old Navy yesterday, you guys. And it was also atrocious. Like I looked so hard at all the graphic tees, at their like everyday tees. Like I found two that I liked, but everything else was just horrendous. So I don't know where I'm supposed to shop for a boy, but it has sucked. So I did find this one little shirt for Jackson. And you guys, he looked so stinking cute wearing this okay so i figured that he could wear this with some shorts when we're down in miami when we're down at my mom's house and he was rocking this we put it on him like i tried it on him yesterday and i posted a little video on instagram and the little welcome to miami song and he looked like he was ready to hit the club he was ready to go pick up chicks looking like a little stud he looked so cute which fun fact i'll wrap up my video with the story that absolutely nobody asked for at all the first night that joe and i actually went out somewhere that was kind of like hey we're interested in each other like we went to we, we were all part of crossfit right so remember like i met joe at crossfit and there was like a like a crossfit get together or something like that and he was there with a friend and like i had a drink with him and like we chatted but he was wearing a guayabera, okay? And if you guys are in Latin, you probably have no idea what that is. But he was wearing a guayabera like at a club. Like think we're at a, you know, I don't know. If, it's so hard to explain unless you've been in Miami. But we were in Miami and we were like almost like at a nightclub. Like I was wearing a nice dress and he was dressed up in a guayabera. Hands down, like a legit authentic guayabera. And that would maybe be acceptable if he was like, um from miami if he was like latin it would be okay but joseph view is from birmingham alabama <laughs> he was wearing a guayabera and he looked so out of place it was like the funniest thing i still bug him about that to this day and that's like the first time that like we hung out that i was like oh this guy is is cool you know and we it was kind of like the the first kind of spark so even with a guayabera this dude from birmingham alabama you know with the with the guayabera um here I am years later married to him. But, but I don't know where I was going with that. It's just the fact that um, that shirt, when Jackson wears it, it reminds me of the day that I saw Joe wearing his version of that. So that is it, you guys. Um, that's what I got at Target. Figured you guys could maybe use some spring inspo. The bathing suits that I got were super cute. If you need some bathing suits, the makeup bag that I got too, awesome. Uh, but yeah, I've been just trying to get some stuff for the spring, for the summer. And that's what I was able to find when I went to Target with both of the kids by myself. I probably could have done much more damage um, had I gone solo, but thankfully for my wallet, I went with them. And actually I had picked up quite a few more things when we went, but I came home and tried everything on and there were a bunch of things that I picked up, like two jean shorts that I picked up that um, just didn't fit, didn't like how they fit. So I returned those. I even returned a pajama, like the pajama was so cute. Um, but it just didn't fit right. It just was it was not it. So yeah, that is it my friends um, A little shopping haul for you guys. Let me know if you liked anything Let me know if you're searching for something in particular this season as we transition now like today you guys here in Virginia today It was almost 80 degrees. Okay, like just last week It was like 20 something degrees and now all of a sudden it's 80 degrees So I'm bound to catch a cold here any day now with like the change of weather uh, but let me know if you guys are shopping for anything if you guys are looking for anything for the kids toys like outdoor toys Like what are you kind of on the hunt for so I can keep my eyes peeled. So that is it I love your freaking faces. Thanks for being here Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys